welcome to research technique series research scholars please note each research problem whether medical engineering natural sciences social sciences including economical human behavior and psychological they are all unique in nature each problem needs to be handled and analyzed with specific methodology each technique which i am going to take is general in nature and should be used under expert advice if you are a beginner learn the techniques and use your expertise specific to your problem wherever required happy learning thank you today we have with us very senior eminent economics expert dr c s adhikari dr chandan s adhikari is ma phd in economics and has got 42 years experience in research consultancy and teaching dr adhikari subsequently served institutions of repute such as giri institute of development studies lucknow i am lucknow and vakunt bhai mehta research center navi mumbai in various capacities before joining institute of technology and management navi mumbai in the year 2000 as professor of economics and was elevated to the position of deputy director and then director and he retired as dean academic in 2017 Currently Dr Adhikari is an adjunct professor and head of scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries an initiative of MSME government of india with NMIMS Navi Mumbai Dr Adhikari is a keen student of development economics and has carried out more than a 20 research and consultancy projects for UNDP NABARD CDP KVIC government of UP and CITCO over the years currently he is preparing detailed project report of MSMEs government of india on setting up various units on traditional industries in the states of maharashtra UP and MP he has published more than 30 research papers in various national and international journals he completed 3 weeks training program in uh, Southern New Hampshire University USA on uh, microfinance in June to th- June 2001 and was awarded certificate for outstanding performance in DE instructor in November 2002 by the same university Manchester USA Dr Adhikari was awarded best teacher award in the economics by ITM in 2003 and in social corporate responsibility by higher education form in 2012 besides a student of economics dr adhikari is a poet and has published collection of his poems panchamrit and bhavanjali dr adhikari is a rotarian and a paul harris fellow he is uh, the life member of higher education forum and is associated with various academic bodies ngos and associations as office bearer advisor and member thanks a lot sir your talk with me yeah. your talk with will with me will help students a lot welcome welcome so nice thank you sir sir year 2020 was a challenge for all economists world over it is also a challenge of researcher of economics please advise the budding researchers with economics problem they should take up for research okay <laughs> dr sajdeva first of all at the outset let me congratulate you at the same time thank you and also uh, uh give my best wishes uh, for taking up this missionary work of really compiling compiling information from researchers of eminence and preparing some kind of a repository of research uh, articles 
and their experiences for the budding researchers as far as the uh what we call the economic problems that the budding researchers should understand it at this point of time it all depends upon the interest of the students or the researchers what kind of economic problem the researcher wants to undertake but the most important thing is the interest the researcher has to identify what is his key interest area and once he identifies his key interest area he is really cultivated nurtured promoted further and ultimately it will culminate into some kind of a good research work as far as the uh, economic problems uh, to be researched are concerned uh, there are a plethora of issues that can be researched at this point of time so depending upon the interest of the researcher for example the contemporary research issues as you rightly mentioned this is the corona uh, 19 year very 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 challenging year and uh, therefore one who really uh, keeps himself abreast of the changes that are taking place by reading the newspapers referring to the journals and the website from time to time can really uh, see some of the issues related to corona for example let us say uh, the comparative analysis of the socio economic impact of covid 19 when can take it at a macro level for india as a whole if india as a whole will be a too too big of a scope and canvas one can concentrate in one one state or two state one could be advanced state the other could be a backward state and there can see what are the socio economic implications and the impact of the corona 19 on various economic issues on growth on growth uh, and sectoral growth the overall growth the employment the income and employment and so and so forth this could be one at the same time the now the all the governments in the state government and the central government they have undertaken various kind of economic measures and packages and stimulus they have given from time to time how effective those those packages and those policies have been so the efficacy of the various policy measures adopted by the government government of india for uh, instance uh, on combating the covid 19 could also be a research topic <clears throat> for the uh, uh, budding researchers like why you know you, you know you know that at this point of time these agriculture reforms this agriculture law now the indian agriculture reform uh, this has been there in the news for so many regions for bad regions uh, particularly so one can really study a critical study of its uh, adequacies and inadequacies because government says that it's adequate all the provisions are there in this uh, um, agriculture reforms or agriculture or, or new farm laws and the farmers on the other hand they think no there are so many loopholes so, 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 so somebody can uh, as a <clears throat> what you call passionate researcher can look into the issues likewise there could be uh, make in india has been there for last 3 4 years now what has been our time has is right in order to find out the what is the impact has there been some substantial impact on the industrial growth of the economy because of this make in india what is the uh, quantum of fdi where this fdi has gone into and at the same time more important is that what is the return on the investment how how gainful it is so how uh, economically gainful it is and what are the determinants what are the determinants if some some program or some make in india program has become successful what are the determinants what are the success factors likewise atmanirbhar bharat is there production linked incentive is a recent one and yesterday only i was reading one news paper dixon technologies they are going to set up the uh, in collaboration with motorola in uh, noida area the manufacturing unit so these are the one uh, the <clears throat> and at the same time the 
if somebody who want is uh, interested in the target group uh, he can really uh, look into this economics of the new agriculture law with special reference to the large farmers and the small farmers and so these are the one which occurred to me uh, readily as far as the contemporary issues are concerned besides uh, depending upon the interest somebody can also do some kind of regional studies so regional studies for example now we have the north eastern area uh, and the west the vis-a-vis -vis of the western area the, the western region of india is this developed area where north north eastern region is uh, in the backward area so what are the factors responsible for the uh, western areas uh, to become the developed region and at the same time the north eastern uh, areas to remain backward so somebody can do some kind of a regional study the regional disparities uh, regional uh, economic development and 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 so and so and third is the evaluation studies the government all the state government and the central government they have come out with various kind of schemes and programs and they have been running uh, for many many years though the planning commission and the state planning commission also they do conduct some research uh, on the impact studies from time to time however for an independent researcher it is very very important to conduct such kind of studies that will give a very very impartial view of the impact of these these studies so these are the one and at the same time some there could be some uh, study in the area of micro economics so for example uh, some products one can identify or some sector fmcg for example and then how the fmcg sector is growing what are the determinants of demand for the and the elasticities of demand of the fmcg products and that too also one can examine in the context of the rural and the urban areas and and so and so forth so the and the likewise other uh, important today is this this smartphone the mobile telephony what has been the impact of the mobile telephony on the economic development of a particular region or a particular state uh, or the rural or the urban area and so these are the one and somebody can also look out into the, the behavioral economics for the changing pattern buying behavior of some select areas So these are the one which readily occurred to me as far as the research areas are concerned. So nice, sir. So nice, sir. Sir, uh, economics is a very vast subject, and uh, emotions also play. Sometimes the researcher comes into the emotional part. What do you advise to a researcher, actually, when he starts his research work, and what do you advise in general to the researcher? Very important. Very important. This is the the crux. Uh, uh to be a good researcher one should really keep into consideration because as i said at the outset the interest this interest is very very important i mean some many a time it happens because the ugc requirement is there that you should uh, do some uh, phd if you are a faculty otherwise you will not get promotion and so and so forth so there are there are certain uh, outside uh, constraints or or motivations but it should be inside inside motivation how interested you are what is your interest? first of all identify and create the interest this is my first advice second is the researcher should be very very conscious and well informed mm, because because this is a lifetime uh, work phd is, is you don't do uh, again and again in your life it's a lifetime work if you are going to do a lifetime work obviously you have to take very very informed decisions after a lot of discussion with your peers with your teachers and with your guide and uh, by taking the, the uh, help uh, and support from the secondary resources research journals and so and so forth because if you can really identify a topic of your interest and so half of the work is done So this is very very important. Third is there he should really consider various sources and availability of the data because many a time if some topic may be of your interest but the data and the information is very very difficult to come by. And uh, so the, and at the same time there are some some constraints. For example, the, the companies may not divulge the data if if it is company specific uh, uh, research topic. 
so there are some constraints the time constraint at the same time data constraint and with other constraint one has to take into consideration while uh, choosing the topic for the research and at the same time he should be ready for grilling because uh, yes grilling will happen if you happen to be if your research guide happen to be a very very good researcher and uh, then he will definitely draft after draft draft after draft you will have to prepare draft and and then once you once he satisfied then he will say okay go ahead so this grilling will take place you should be ready for this grill and fourth is sometimes the researcher thinks that yeah whatever the topic that he has chosen for the research is good one and is is also of his interest and then he submits and goes to his to his uh, guide and his guide tells him that look my dear boy this research has been researched by so many researchers so so much of uh, the, the research is already available why there is a need to really do it again so therefore sometimes you will come land into this kind of a problem also so therefore you should be that as i said you should be ready for a grilling so so phd is done once in a lifetime as I, i'm repeating it uh, because it has its own importance second right. doing phd is just a beginning i would say because phd are you have published a phd and then you are sitting idle oh i have done it i have done it and and, and then you went into go into complacency and uh, subsequently you do not do any kind of a follow up so subsequently the researchers should track the development in that particular area from from time to time and continue to publish research papers and become an expert in that particular uh, domain in the given area so that's a beginning ultimately you will become the expert when you really go on uh, uh, doing research and uh, publishing the research paper so this is very very important Right. and then and then at the same time sir uh, this is very very rewarding also uh, i have my experience that good institutes if you publish the research paper in the abdc category or journal you get get a handsome award 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 50000 kind of the honorarium uh, the monetary reward you get so that's uh, uh, one on the one hand you are getting the the monetary gain at the same time you are getting the recognition by publishing your uh, article in the in the uh, good journal so i should you see win win kind of a situation right sir right sir sir uh, economics people usually use historical data but sometimes they survey also usually with your experience please advise the students what type of data analysis techniques they can uh, take up sir it uh, it i think i think both historical from trend analysis we are going to do some kind of a trend analysis and then uh, you are uh, doing uh, uh, you want to find out the uh, projection or the the, the uh, demand forecasting etc the trend analysis is important the historical data has its own importance but at the same time uh, when you are projecting the future uh, uh, in terms of the uh, particular products demand or supply or whatever it is then obviously you need to take into consideration how the situations or the economic situation over the years have undergone changes so there your this depth of knowledge at the same time analytical skills also come into fore okay so therefore historical data is there at the same time the, the analytical is also important so one is the descriptive descriptive as you said historical data is there so you are uh, Uh, highlighting that what has been in the past and then, then you are going to project the future so that the descriptive and analytic data is very very the important and at the same time now it, it depends suppose um, you want to you are a agriculture economy so labor economy so you have specialization in some trade areas international trade areas so it's, it's a disciplinary economy the so disciplinary economics men there uh, you need to have a thorough knowledge of the of the particular subject area or the discipline at the same time the emerging trends so there again um, the this is the uh, in in terms, terms of disciplinary uh, economics and uh, the problem solving for young there is very very important primary survey is very very important in such kind of a uh, research topic primary data uh, research work 
is uh, easier as compared to the secondary data analysis in the sense that uh, you get the data you collate the data you clean the data you process the data and then you prepare tables analysis etc you uh, you do and arrive at the uh, the problem areas and the solutions thereof but uh, at the same time it is challenging because the information that you collect from the respondents how reliable that that information is thanks final words to the student what do you advise finally the final words sir i think um, repeatedly i said number one you have to really create interest identify the the uh, topic of your interest and not for uh, getting some kind of a promotion or uh, the getting the faculty position but to really in the long run become an expert in the particular domain and then uh, you know the labor economy the agriculture economy is and contributing to the uh, the knowledge or of research and to a particular domain teaching and consulting both can really uh, you, you continue simultaneously so it's very very important so therefore phd you take it as a as a launch pad for your career development rather than the formality to complete it sir thank you very much so nice of you your talk will help the students of social sciences economics and management and uh, it will help the students not only phd students but mba students other social work students they can take up the projects work on the areas you have advised sir your insights will certainly help the students and also the community and also the teachers because your advice will also help the teachers thank you very much sir i am obliged and humbled Uh, with the talks so nice thank you very much sir my dear sir this you are uh, doing this yeoman services small contribution from my side and i am thankful to you for asking me and considering me that i am i am a good researcher i can contribute something to the cause of research that's so nice of you thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much cs adhikari advises the budding researchers to inculcate the passion for problem and work phd is the launch pad of your career it is only beginning of your research life you should continuously publish your research work with persistent work you will become expert in your area and domain there are many current issues of economics passionate researchers should take up there may be topics wherein governments say they are adequate and a few persons may say they are insufficient it is the duty of researchers to find the truth of the issue initially researchers may be grilled by their guides who are task masters but they should understand that it will make them near perfect you may submit your research work at journal of global economy rcssindia.org your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology you will get comments for your work thank you